737 is an aero body twin engine jet of Boeing. This aircraft was designed for short to medium range flights with a smaller design, fewer seats, and more fuel efficiency than the 707 or 727 aircraft at that time. After 50 years, the Boeing 737 aircraft has 10 variants. One of the most advanced military variants of this aircraft is the Airborne Early Warning and Control. Currently, the E3A Sentry Early Warning Aircraft is a standard not only for NATO but also for many countries allied with the United States to meet intelligence sharing requirements when multinational combat cooperation. In the near future, E3A Sentry will gradually be completely replaced by newer early warning aircraft also developed by Boeing. The 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control is a bright candidate. The Boeing 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control is based on the 737-700 variant and a total of 14 aircraft have been produced. The Royal Australian Air Force owns 6 aircraft with the name E-7A Wester. The Turkish Air Force owns 4 with the name Peace Eagle and the Korean Air Force owns 4 with the name Peace Eye. The origin of the Boeing 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control came from the Western Project when the Royal Australian Air Force made a request for a new generation Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft in 1990. Boeing Group 1 with a 737 prototype built on the Boeing 737 Next Generation Fuselage, similar version with the 737-700ER. In terms of design, the 737 Early Warning version is not much different from the previous 737 generations. Still an elongated tubular fuselage, a pair of conventional low-mounted sweep wings, two turbofan engines are set up under the wings. A large vertical tail fin is located on two horizontal planes, also sweep back like the main wings. The difference is a dorsal fin on top of the fuselage that the top hat and is designed for minimal aerodynamic effect. Other modifications include venture fins to counterbalance the radar and countermeasures mounted on the nose, wingtips, and tail. In flight refueling is via a receptacle on top of the focus fuselage. The cabin features eight operator concerns with surface and space for far more. The aircraft's power plan is to CFM International CFM-567B27A turbofans delivering 121 kN each. These engines help the 737 reach a cruise speed of 853 km per hour, the range of 3,500 nautical miles, while the service ceiling reaches 12,500 meters. The aircraft has an empty weight of 46.6 tons, the maximum takeoff weight reaches 77.6 tons. Other specifications include a length of 33.6 meters, a wingspan of 35.8 meters, a height of 12.5 meters, and a wing area of 91 square meters. It has a flying boom receptacle and a fixed probe, providing dual in flight refueling capability. The 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control made its first fly in 2004 and was introduced in 2009, characterized by a Northrop Grumman Electronic Systems Mantra Electronically Scan Array Radar operating on airband. It is a flat plate instead of a rotating disc lie on the E3 Sentry. The radar is capable of simultaneous air and sea search, fighter control and area search. In lookup mode, it has a maximum range of over 600 km. When operating in lookdown mode against fighter size target, the maximum range is in excess of 370 km. When used to gain maritime targets, the maximum range is over 240 km for frigate size targets. Mantra Electrically Scan Array Radar is capable of simultaneously tracking 180 targets and conducting 24 intercepts. 
In particular, the radar antenna array also has the 737 take on the role of electronic intelligence. It collects radio signals from 850 km away when flying at an altitude of 9000 meters. This radar allows observing space and ground at 360 degree angles. The wave can be set from 2 to 8 degrees, while scan duration can be set from 3 to 40 seconds. Radar signal processing equipment and central computer are installed directly below the antenna array. Currently, the Air Force owns the most of 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft in the world is the Royal Australian Air Force, with six in service. In October 2018, the British government announced that it is in discussion with Boeing and the Royal Australian Air Force about the potential for the E-7 Western Radar aircraft to replace its E-3D fleet. On March 22, 2019, it was announced by Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson that the UK has signed a $1.89 billion deal to purchase five E-7 Westeros. My video of Boeing 737 ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.